Hey y'all, it's your girl, Camille, with Cooking with Camille. Okay y'all, today we're going to just cold outside. We're going to do some soup on the inside. And guess what? I'm going to do something for those people that don't eat meat. We're going to do a vegetarian soup. We're just going to do a vegetable soup with no meat today. So this would be good for anybody that's, I guess, vegan. I don't, Well, it won't be vegan because I'm putting pasta in it, so it won't be vegan. I don't think. I think they can't do pasta. But it's going to be vegetable soup with no meat. So anybody that don't do meat, it's going to be a vegetable soup, okay? So you're going to need, well, you can do whatever you want with your vegetable soup. I found some, got some Nors, uh rice and pasta blend with bell peppers and Mexican seasoning. We're going to use that for a seasoning. I got some bay leaf. I got some parsley flakes. I got some Italian seasoning. We got some beef base. We're going to put some great northern beans in there and some kidney beans and some diced tomatoes and one can of cream corn. I got some okra, which we're not going to use this whole bag, and some mixed vegetables. And I got some reina, cheese lovers reina. Uh, it's got all uh, cheeses in it, tortellini. I got some uh, spaghetti, but we're just going to put a little bit of that. I got some barley. I'm going to just put a little barley in it because barley soaks up everything. Okay, I got, let's come over here. I got some red onions. I got some uh, scallions. I got an orange pepper. And I got some celery. And I kept the leaves too because the leaves get good flavor. I think I might cut up some spinach, but I don't want to do too much. So uh, we're just going to go with the flow. Okay. Y'all just watch me closely because I might be adding some more stuff. Might have to switch the pan over. Okay. So first of all, I got too much oil in here. Let me empty some of this oil. Okay. Let me wipe this pan off too. Okay. Got the grease hot uh, little oil, olive oil, ready for uh, the saute my onions and stuff. And I got the water filled up right here because we're going to fill it up with all the vegetables. So we're just going to boil this water and get it ready and put the beef base in there to get the flavor that you want. Okay. So let's go with our vegetables. That all we want to do is stir fry them. Stir fry them and get them a season really good. And we're going to season with a uh, little pepper, about a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of garlic. That'll be our season for our soup. Okay, and then we're going to go with a full teaspoon of Italian seasoning, full teaspoon. Y'all know me. I like my Italian seasoning. Okay. And let's just keep stir frying that. And then add your beef. So that I have some leftover beef. And you know what else I have left over? You know that uh, gravy I had left from uh, the roast beef? I'm going to add that leftover gravy to this. To thicken it up a little bit. Okay. Let me get that out so I don't forget it. And why not? I'm going to add two potatoes. And dice them real good. We're going to add this last because it don't take long. Because these are your, um, your kind of potatoes. So they're not going to take long. We're just going to peel them and cut them. And we're just going to saute this really good. I can't believe I'm going to talk four minutes already. So uh, saute this real good. And uh, get the flavors in there. And we're going to move this pot over for this. To uh, get it in there. Uh, so you can see all that we put in there. So we're going to let that season a little longer. Okay, I'm adding a beef flavor base, gluten-free. So we're going to add that. This is only like 10 calories per serving, for 75 servings. But I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is what it looks like. This is what I like to use, like a paste, where you can add your own flavor and your own seasoning and get the flavor that you want. I'd rather use this than, uh, like I told y'all before, the ones that hear me before, better than uh, the box and better than the um, Q 
cube because you can this will last me three months two to three months well i cook all the time it'll probably only last me two months i got one chicken and one beef um so that's what we'll do okay we got the flavor we want so now we're going to add our vegetables to the pot of our beef base okay so we can start uh, getting those flavors okay i'm gonna add a bay leaf to that add some bay leaves and one bay leaf Bay one bay leaf gives it a great flavor a really flavor you can either use bay leaves or you can use i have the basil you can use that uh, we're going to add some parsley to it. About a tablespoon of parsley. Okay. While we're doing this, we're going to add a can of kidney beans. Don't wash the top of your cans. Don't drain it. Use it like it is. Let me wipe these cans off real good. All these cans. I know what I said about these cans. Let me find a can opener. Okay, we're just going to put everything on slow. And we're just going to slow cook it. We're going to add our vegetables already to this. We're going to get some whole bag of mixed vegetables. Because that's our only vegetable we're having. So we're going to add the whole bag of frozen vegetables. I prefer frozen. Besides can. Can has too much salt in them. Always buy frozen vegetables where you can add your flavor to it. Uh, we're going to do one can of diced tomatoes. And you know I get the Italian style with the olive oil, garlic, and peppers. Add one can of that. We're going to add the one can of kidney beans with the juice. Stir it a little bit. It's going to have nice color to it. And then we're going to add one can of great northern beans with the juice. That's what's going to thicken it up. We're just going to let that cook down. And we'll add the okra and the cheese lovers last. And then we're going to add one can of cream style corn. Just one can. Yes, that's what I said. Cream style corn. That gives it a wonderful taste, y'all. Trust me. Trust me. We're just going to stir that up. Look at the color already. And we're going to add. Remember that? That gravy that we had from the roast beef. We're going to add a little of that gravy to give it some flavor too. It has some gravy left. We're just going to add about half of that to thicken it up and we're just gonna let this set and come to a boil and then we'll add everything else to it okay that's gonna be a good flavor that's how you get rid of all your stuff in the refrigerator okay so i'm gonna still add my tomato paste you got i got some marinade sauce marinara and uh, we're just going to add about a cup of that and save the other one for another day okay you know how we save it for another day about a cup and a half <laughs> drop in the half we're going to stir that put the lid on it and just let it simmer. Simmer for about 20 minutes. Uh, I say about 15 minutes. 
till it come to a boil and just let it simmer. Okay. Okay. See how all the colors are. Look at all those colors. Vegetables. Healthy. Spend the night in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking, y'all. But yeah, we're gonna let this boil down a little bit, and then we'll add our noodles or, or whatever else I find in the kit kitchen but these are all the stuff you clean clean out with we're gonna add our okra at the last minute and our um i started to put spinach in it but i'm not um uh, i don't know y'all just wait and see y'all know me we just add stuff okay y'all better ask somebody you already know y'all already know me y'all ain't got to ask nobody because y'all know me y'all know how i do how i do do the do Okay, y'all know how I do the do, so y'all do the do too. So anyway, and we got potatoes to put in there too. So we'll let that boil down a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, now the came to boil. We're gonna add our bay, our barley, because barley take a long time to cook. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put much in there because barley will suck up your juice. Just gonna do. About two tablespoons, three tablespoons. That's it. Let's stir it up. Y'all can see how it's thickening up already. It's going to be a good soup. I'm going to let it cook down some more. Then we'll add, then we'll add our um, other stuff after the barley get halfway done. Okay, now let's add. Let's see what we want to add. We got our barley in here. <coughs> We're going to add some Norse, the rice pasta blend with bell pepper and Mexican. I'm going to add this whole bag, okay? That ought to give us some more better flavor. <clears throat> I just had it in the cabinet. Put some rice in there. Let that stir that in there. See how this is. You got to keep stirring it. Let that some rice in there. I might wait on the darn uh, noodles. Yeah, we might as well. Well, we ain't ready to put them in yet. Because we don't want that to, nothing to happen. I'm going to cut the potatoes up and put that in there. Okay, I'm going to add the potatoes. I'm thinking about this pasta, this uh, tortellini, y'all. I don't know. It's getting kind of thick. I don't want it to start sticking. I think I might wait and save it for another day. Because we got the rice in there. So I think that'll be enough. I think we'll let it slide. <clears throat> Look how thick it's turning out, y'all. Look at that. A vegetarian soup. No meat at all. Just all vegetables and rice and pasta. Potato. I think I'm going to cut another potato in there. Okay. Oh, mm, y'all, it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like. Oh, I don't want to taste it because the rice ain't dead. I've been, I got a rice on there and be, oh. Okay, I'm going to cut another potato in there because I love potatoes. Okay, you know what else I didn't add? I'm going to add this okra to it. Y'all see how thick it's getting? That's from that gravy and the juice from the kidney beans and the juice from the Great northern, uh, great northern beans, and that cream corn. That's what made it thick. Okay, let me get the okra. And I think I'm gonna just let y'all, we're gonna let it fly. Y'all love okra. <clears throat> we're gonna use a, a half a bag, not even a full bag, a half a bag. Just get some throw some in there. Okra makes a soup. If you don't like okra, you ain't got to put okra in there. But I like okra. So we're going to put it in there. You ain't got to put it in there. But vegetables, vegetables. I didn't start eating okra to my mom. I used to be scared of it because I said, oh, it looked like snot. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to put this whole bag in there. <laughs> it's like it's not, but it's so good. Mama used to cook it with her black eyed peas and eat it. And I said, oh my God, that tastes so good. So, 
We're just going to wait on the potatoes and when it'll be done. I just got to taste this juice to see if it's okay. Let me see. Oh my goodness, great flavor. Yes, y'all. Great flavor. Yes, let me wipe this spoon away. Yes, great flavor. Now look at this. Look at this, how thick it's getting. You gotta keep stirring it so it don't stick because it got so much stuff in it. Yeah, buddy. This looks good. Looks so good. Let's plate it up. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Vegetarian soup. Nothing but vegetables. No meat at all, y'all. Look at them lima beans. I mean, uh, great northern beans. Kidney beans and okra and peas and corn and potatoes. And barley and rice and butter noodles. And what else did I put in there, y'all? Just look at that. Just look at that. How pretty. Carrots, mixed vegetables, anything in the mixed vegetables. Plus, we got crackers. The best crackers in the world. Besides uh, Keebler. Look at that. All right, y'all. Y'all better ask somebody. It is wonderful, y'all. Wonderful. Let me see. Let me get a... Look at this. Look. Look at that. Just look at that, y'all. It took a... Oh, let me see what time it is. It took an hour... Hour and 20 minutes, y'all. Hour and 20 minutes for some good soup. Let's taste it and see. It's hot. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. y'all better ask somebody. I know Kathy Cloud gonna call me say she wants some of this soup. Bring it to work tomorrow. Kathy and Lisa Manicherry or whatever, Manicherry, you be one. And Darice probably gone. But Darice off tomorrow, so she won't be wanting none. Y'all better ask somebody. Mm, mm -mm. All right, y'all. Gotta go eat. See y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe and share with somebody. Let them know what cooking with Camille does. Look at that. Let them know what I do, y'all. Let them know. Better ask somebody. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe just one time a month to enter into a prize. All right. Bye-bye.